okay guys so now as we have uh, uh, seen like what kind of errors we can get and now uh, we will be doing solving the uh, issue uh, with first way uh, and which I told you that we will be doing it uh, uh, sl uh, skip uh, like s error uh, with the variable name is that uh, slave SQL skip error so that this one uh, this variable uh, skip SQL skip uh, uh, slave counter so we are going to uh, use that uh, but for that uh, what I'm going to do is that uh, do some inserts create some tables insert some test data and then I will be inserting some data on the replica side uh, like uh, I will be like uh, creating some uh, wrong data and then we will be inserting some uh, the same data from the uh, master side so obviously this is going to uh, be an error and then you will see that how we can uh, solve this error okay like how we can skip the whole transaction whole in the either let's see if it is uh, going to be a transaction skipping transaction or even or error yeah. so that is the that is the goal like how the this variable uh, uh, sql skip uh, slave counter going to work so in order to do that uh, let's create some tables here uh, on the master side okay i'm going to use uh, database use uh, test okay those are the two tables I have created now and if you use show test use test this is my uh, replica site uh, show tables uh, now they are here okay so next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to insert some data on the uh, replica site so uh, we will be doing some here so if you see here uh, now I have done some insertion here and on the select state from in ODB replica side. So if you see here, I have created this table on the master side. I have created two tables. Okay, uh, the one table is having a, a REPL in ODB, and its engine type is in ODB. And the one, the other one is a REPL MySM, and its uh, engine is MySM. The reason behind is that uh, because uh, uh, this will have uh, the uh, like uh, the SQL skip counter variable uh, have different behavior uh, with the table uh, which, which engine is in ODB and the table uh, which engine is MySM because MySM is non transaction and uh, the in ODB uh, uh, engine tables are uh, transactional. So that is why uh, they have some different behavior. So I will be testing in this video uh, against the table which have uh, engine as InnoDB and the next video we will be testing it as uh, the engine having a uh, MySM. Okay. So uh, so for now uh, select static form. Okay. So if you see here uh, the data, it's we have one record here. Okay. Now uh, on the a transition table uh, which is in ODB repel underscore in ODB and here you see here what was wrong here okay again this one sorry so uh, now you see here we don't have any record on this side and in this side we have one record so let's try to insert uh, a record on the master and see what is going to happen uh, what I'm doing here is that uh, let me show you here okay I'm trying to uh, what I did is that I uh, inserted uh, one record okay uh, three this one uh, and this one one uh, and this one as a two and if you see here I tried to I inserted one record which is not there it, if you see here we have record with ID is equal to one then I inserted the record which is already there then inserted the record which is not there so if you see here now uh, here we have three records okay and if you see here we have only one record because the replication has been um, broken if you see here show uh, slave status slash g we'll come to know that replication is broken and if you see here uh, our sql uh, sql thread is not running and only the uh, io thread is running the reason behind that is the sql uh, thread cannot apply the real log uh, event into the uh, database because this the record is already there this one and it on the master is try uh, tried to like the slave tried to get the uh, this event from the master this one and uh, when it tries to apply from the really log to database uh, it came to know that oh this is already there so this is a duplicate key error that is why the duplicate key is you have 
okay so now uh, what we need to do is that obviously we need to skip this error in order to skip this error uh, we will be uh, setting the uh, sql slave uh, skip counter equal to one and then uh, we will execute it on the slave side but before that uh, because we already know that what kind of record we did insert it but uh, maybe in the uh, production uh, you guys uh, do not know like uh, what was uh, uh, what was the queries which are causing the problem so in order to do that what we are going to do is that we will be reading the binary log files of the master uh, for certain position where we got this error and we will check and uh, that what are the uh, what is the event or what kind of statements are there in, this in the whole transaction or in the whole event so we can know that uh, these are the problem problematic events we have so uh, in order to do that uh, what I'm going to do here is that let me get this info here uh, this one and I need uh, uh, one more where is the executed master position yeah this one let's take it from here because I need this position only so uh, if you see here okay uh, I need this start position okay from what are the what is my start position uh, and the start position is my uh, exit log position okay this one and I will start from here and then we have stop position stop position I need to take it from this uh, error okay the error we got here uh, this one if you see here it's saying the end log position which is 4097 okay and the start position we I will take from here execution uh, execute master log position okay and this is from the 4097 from the uh, at the end position uh, like stop position and then we have the binary log file as well uh, so if you see here uh, master binary log file because we are we will be checking the events in the master uh, log file so if you see here uh, master log file this is my master log file okay and i already know that uh, this is th this is where my uh, master log file uh, is residing so i will need to check for this so let's execute this and let's see uh, what are the events uh, in case you don't know because here we know but obviously you will uh, you won't be able to know that what war what are my events which are causing the problem so this is how you can get the position and read the binary log file so i have uh, written everything into this uh, this text file and let's read it so if you see here uh, the starting position uh, which i mentioned here is uh, three uh, three six nine one and the end is four zero nine seven so let's look for the three uh, which what is it uh, three six three nine one okay so three six nine one three eight four seven and three six yeah here if you see here starting from here okay uh, okay now starting from here we see here that uh, okay okay uh, this is uh, where we try to insert so now we know uh, this is our begin here starting from here and ending at uh, the same position we have provided uh, where is it okay but uh, if you see here what is the end position 4097 somewhere it here but uh, obviously it will be uh, stopped at the position 4097 so that is I think not mentioned here so that is that is not our goal uh, it's okay uh, now we know that uh, this is our begin and end okay so yeah starting from here and if you see here yeah these are the these are the, uh, my uh, statements which have scores uh, caused the problem so now we will uh, now we know that what are the things we need to have so now we know like what is the risk, risk factor involved so obviously if we skip this then we know that okay these are the statement which has been executed on the master and if I skip them then these statement will not be on the uh, replica side okay so uh, for that we will have to make the consistency check and I will show you this on the another video how we can make uh, how we can make our uh, MySQL replication consistent so that we will do it uh, in the next video uh, but for now we what our goal is to uh, like uh, do the uh, skip uh, okay uh, so now let's skip the uh, let's skip these events and let's see uh, what is going to happen so uh, as we previously know that what we did here is that we inserted uh, records which were not there this one it was not available there uh, it was a valid record this one was not a valid record because it was already there and this one is also a valid record but if you see here uh, 
okay if you see here we have only uh, record which is already there we don't have this record as well okay this one like okay and this one as well so because it is a transaction and the whole transaction should be rolled back but let's say skip uh, let's uh, set the skip one and let's see uh, what is going to be the uh, how things going to work so what i'm going to do what i'm going to do here is that uh, i will first uh, set the skip counter is equal to one which i did here uh, you see here and then i start the sql thread only because uh, our slave uh, io is already running okay so because with this error it's only stops the sql thread only so we will going to start only the start uh, slave sql thread and then if you see here uh, again i checked what is the condition here so what it is is that uh, from the output uh, we saw here it started uh, it skipped the whole everything okay it skipped the whole transaction uh, begin here if you see here and three and then uh, like one is equal to one and everything so it skipped everything here so all the issue all everything has been skipped if you see here when i start from here so th this was the our problematic uh, uh, statement so that is why it didn't go uh, okay so now uh, if you kn we know that everything has been skipped so nothing has been written inside your binary log file so the whole transaction is skipped so if you check now show slave status uh, now you know that uh, okay my it is running and uh, and the sql uh, running state is like uh, everything has been written and it's waiting for more updates so that is how it's worked okay so what happened here is that it is going to skip everything okay so it has skipped the whole transaction uh, this one this whole transaction has been skipped okay because if you see here we have only one record which was already there so this whole transaction will be skipped uh, even though if this transaction had thousand uh, state like this even has thousand statements uh, so that will be skipped as well okay okay and one more thing to notice here uh, why uh, we set this uh, to one okay if you set this to two it will skip this transaction and it will skip another transaction as well okay so uh, it will skip two events like this events as well the one we perform on the master and it will skip another event as well so uh, all the events will be skipped so you guys can test that and let me know uh, and we, if you have any problem uh, we can solve that as well so that's it for this one and now in the next one we will test it against uh, a table which is uh, non-transactional i mean the table which is uh, my sm table okay so let's do that